The Emancipation Support Committee formally opened the Forum on Africa and its Diaspora at the Queen's Park Savannah today. Minister of Public Administration and Communications Maxi Cuffey spoke of the little that the Caribbean can do to spur the economic agenda of Africa. What we in the Caribbean can do is to organize our business so that we can take our skills to the continent and share in that development. My sense is that the African nations, particularly those in West and Southern Africa, would be able to welcome us with open arms if only we can take the gifts of our minds and the skills of modern science and technology to their countries. He said there's so much that descendants of Africa need to know. The true face and form of Africa today is largely unknown to her children. Her rituals and customs, her literature and languages are largely unknown in entities you know, even a world drawn closer by the magnet of modern communications technology. Meanwhile, Director of the Citizens and Diaspora Directorate at the African Union Commission, Amid al-Bashir, said the diaspora plays a critical role in advancing the social economic development agenda of Africa. Surprise, therefore, that an increasing number of African Union member states continue to set up specialized government departments with a singular purpose of engaging diaspora communities in the support of development back in the homeland. The Directorate of Citizens and Diaspora Organizations, CIDU, of the African Union Commission, was established to serve as catalyst for the involvement of global African diaspora community in the affairs of the Union.